So all of this is Junon? Everything above us. Below is under Junon. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. <laughs> Figures. Shinra's always gotta have someone to stomp on. It's their friggin' M.O. One moment. Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. on who's asking. A woman who could turn you in and be a hundred grand richer for it. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Can't take it with you. Hmm. Hmm. And Aerith to boot, huh? That's another half a million on top. Uh, half a million? Down here, though, we know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. Uh, sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But over there, there's a quiet little inn where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there, and security is tight. You start anything, anything at all, and there will be consequences. There's got to be black robes around here somewhere, so how are we going to find them? That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea, or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town, then. Locals will know routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember... Low profile. Brittle houses in the sea air. Paint chipping and wood bending. Have you met Priscilla yet? Oil. Hey, you see that trail that took the old Dave's Chocobo Express! village this is ain't even allowed to take a rowboat out shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition but people gotta eat 
Anyway, short of stealing the boat and causing a scene, both us and our black robed friends are SOL. Nothing makes you forget. Believe it or not. Huh? You're not looking to throw down, are you? Sorry, but I was just about to leave port. Oh, name's Isabel, by the way. Was looking for a challenge, but failed miserably. Since this place was a total bust, I figured I ought to try my luck elsewhere. Although. Maybe you can put up a decent fight. What do you say? One round of QB before I set sail? the wind right out of my sails and here I was thinking my ship was unsinkable happy to be proven wrong though especially by a real pro glad we could get that in action before I moved on with all that pent-up frustration <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to think or sail straight thanks for clearing my head I'm gonna stick around a bit longer just enough to swab the deck once more around town is Shinra's holding some kind of big event up top. Wonder what? Here you go.
Hey, look. I bet we could be. Oh, hey there, mister. Are you looking for someone to play Queen's Blood with? We'd be more than happy to go a round or two with you. I'm Devin, the younger brother. And I'm Darren, the older one. And together, we're the Double D Duo, a team of twins who love Queen's Blood. You'll face my little brother here first. If you win, then I'll take you on. Two for the price of one. Sweet deal, right? Speaking of prices, if you lose against either of us, you gotta fork over three gil. Not bad, but next, you gotta beat me. Don't worry, Devin. I promise I'll avenge you!
Aw, I can't believe we lost. You're better at this than I thought. Hold up. Does this mean we don't get our three gil? No, he totally still owes us. I'm pretty sure the deal was if we lost, we got three gil. Isn't that right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You may have beaten us this time, but we'll get that three gil from you yet. So if you're ever in the mood, come back and play. Brittle houses in the sea air. Hello there. Inspiring, isn't it? The view. I'm Snaps, by the way. Shutterbug and card-carrying member of the Association of Photography Aficionados. Mind if I get a shot of you? For posterity. Who do you think will get licensed first? <laughs> Pretty as a picture. You got what it takes to be in front of the camera. But what about behind it? So, apparently, there's a rather scenic spot not far from here. Thing is, this terrain's a bit perilous. At least for your average photog like me, but maybe not for you. If you find the spot, take a moment to appreciate it. Try to view it as a professional photographer might. Should have never let them build a reactor in our waters. All right, everyone, come and get. Don't want to miss me. In the old days, you would like believe it or not. Another day in a life without sunshine. Just what? Oh, well, would you look at that? I finally hope to catch, and a good one, too. Bet you thought you could blow me out of the water just because I'm getting on in years, hmm? Well, think again. I'm this town's ace angler, Zoga, and I've caught much bigger QB fish than you, Sonny. I tell you that much. You young'uns can thrash all you like, but you'll never beat my years of experience.
goodness me. This makes you the one that got away. Serves me right for taking down the Queen's blood is a lot like fishing, you know. Gotta be patient, wait for the right moment, then reel them in. Time it wrong, and you'll be watching your victory swim away. <sighs> Just look what happened to me. Guess I had a bigger catch on my hands than I thought. <sighs> I should have been more careful. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Squire. As such, I have information that may be of interest. A talented player by the name of Cameron is looking for opponents within the Crow's Nest. I believe that you would find him to be a suitable challenge. Perhaps you ought to seek him out. 